hello everyone so welcome to today's class so as all of you know that we have started a new series of interview topics simplified so inside this one we will be discussing on the different different topics or different aspects of interview topics that you will be you might be getting inside a interview questions so we will be discussing on that so today's topic is purchasing organizations in SAP so what are the different purchase organizations are in SAP that you might get on question in the interview so what are the different kinds of purchasing organization or maybe you can get a question what is the reference purchase organization what is the standard purchase organization where we use it you might get different different questions on it so let's see what are the different type of purchasing organization so to simplify the topic we have categorized first as plan specific purchase organization second as standard purchase organization third is a central purchase organization and fourth one is a reference purchase organization but if you go to the sap screen then you can see the first one is whenever you are going to the assignment part first you will be seen there is a when we assign the purchasing organization to the company to the company code then it will become a central purchase organization right so this is the first option second option whenever you are assigning one plan to the uh, sorry if whenever you are assigning one purchasing organization to the plant it will become a plan specific purchase organization right then the third option you will be getting over there what is a like standard purchase organization assign a standard purchase organization then the fourth option in the sap screen you will be getting what is the ref uh, like reference purchase organization make a reference purchase organization or assign a reference purchase organization these kind of four settings or four screens you will be getting inside the sap screen so if we see if we go to the spro screen so here go to reference img So here we can go to the enterprise structure here we can go to the assignment inside the assignment we can go to the material management inside the material management we can see as I have said like first one is assign purchase organization to company code so whenever you are assigning a purchase organization to the company code it will become as a central purchase organization so next one is what is a plant specific purchase organization so whenever you are assigning a purchase organization to a plant that will become as a plant specific purchase organization then assign the standard purchase organization and reference purchase organization so both of the things we are going to discuss it now so i believe first two things are clear to you whenever you are assigning the purchase organization to the company code then it will become a central purchase organization whenever you are assigning the uh, purchase organization to the plant it will become a plant specific purchase organization right so so if we see plant specific purchase organization and standard purchase organization both are same both are similar not same both are similar let's say if you are having only one purchase organization assigned to the plant then it will become a standard purchase organization by default it will become as a standard purchase organization let's say in this scenario let's say your plant is having two purchase organization let's say purchase organization one and purchase organization two right so in this case what will be happening so let's say you will be you will be designing or you will be configuring or you will be creating a special procurement type let's say pipeline agreement let's say you are creating a um, let's say purchase info record you are creating for a pipeline agreement or you are creating a let's say subcontracting agreement or you are creating a let's say a consignment agreement you are creating so in that case so whenever you are configuring a special procurement type so in that case if you have multiple purchase organization assigned to the plant if you are having multiple purchase organization assigned to the plant then you have to make one purchase organization as a standard purchase organization if you don't have multiple purchase organization then by default your purchase organization which is assigned to your plant it will become a standard purchase organization so if you have multiple purchase organization assigned to the plant 
then you have to make one of the purchase organization as a standard purchase organization to create these kind of special procurement scenario i believe this concept is clear what is a standard purchase organization let's say there are multiple purchase organization assigned to the plant so in that case you have to make one purchase organization as a standard purchase organization okay so next concept is what is a reference purchase organization so let's go to the next scenario so let's say this is a scenario where you are having one purchase organization that is assigned to your company code let's say this is a central purchase organization and second purchase organization is assigned to your plant that is a plant specific purchase organization so let's say you are creating some of the contract through the central purchase organization so central purchase organization is basically needed or it is used to create some centrally agreed contract to create any centrally agreed contract you need a central purchase organization so let's say you have created a contract with the central purchase organization but this purchase organization is not assigned to your plant so that's why whenever you are going to release that contract you will be not able to release that contract because you don't have that purchase organization assigned to your plant okay so you are not have assigned that plan to your uh, that purchase organization to your plan so that's why you will be not able to release that order so to release that order you need to assign your plant purchase organization the purchase organization which is assigned to your plan you have to make it as a reference purchase organization to that central purchase organization okay so you have to assign this purchase organization this is a central purchase organization and this is a plant purchasing organization i believe you can um, see this arrow mark from the arrow mark you can see this purchase organization is assigned to this plant this purchase organization is assigned to the company code so now you have to interlink this central purchase organization to your a uh, plant specific purchase organization you can need to make a, a reference purchase organization of it so that you can be able to release that contract order which have been created through the central purchase organization you can be able to release that with a sent uh, with a reference purchase organization i believe this is clear right so this is basically different type of purchase organization you might get uh, whenever you are going to uh, going into a interview there uh, inside the let's say organization structure someone might ask you what is a reference purchase organization or what is a standard purchase organization what is the use of it or what are the different kind of purchasing organization you have used in your uh, let's say um um what are the different uh, kind of uh, organizations uh, sorry what are the different type of uh, purchasing organization are there inside sap someone might ask you some question on that so you need to prepare on these kind of things okay this ppt i will be sharing over uh, whatsapp or i will be sharing over uh, let's say linkedin you can find the documents over there okay what is the let's say what is the concept but concept wise you need to understand it from the video if you are still not able to get it then you can rewind some um, like some backward you can rewind it and you can understand it one more time or you can note it down what is the difference how we can uh, like assign the different type of purchase organization what is the necessity of it what is the requirement of different kind of purchasing organization so you can make a note of it by your own or you can if you need to have this document then you can get it through the whatsapp or you can get it through the linkedin whatsapp if you join later might be you will be not getting it so in linkedin you will be getting this under post under some post you will be getting these document so you can get it from there so that's it for today let's meet up again tomorrow bye bye and take care